Yes, so watching news desk on Johnny's on Multi TV. Now, Accra High Court has adjourned all people's Congress suit against the Electoral Commission to tomorrow, Tuesday, 1st November 2016. Two high courts in Accra are hearing separate cases against the Electoral Commission filed by two disqualified presidential candidates. And you would recall that the EC disqualified 12 presidential candidates from contesting in this year's general elections after what it said was their failure to meet the requirement of the CI 94. Some of them, including the NDP, PPP, APC and PNC, have all sued the Electoral Commission, with the PPP securing victory in its suit against the Electoral Commission last Friday. The Electoral Commission and the APC this morning made their oral arguments at the High Court on the party's challenge of the EC's disqualification of Hassan Ayariga. The party believes its flag bearer was wrongfully disqualified by the EC. On argument, the Commission disputes. The hearing continues tomorrow and will bring you more at midday. Also, Jacob Oseyabo, an independent candidate, hauled the EC to court over the current register, doubting its credibility following suggestions that the electoral roll still has names of dead persons on it. The court could earlier not deliver the judgment because the mandate of the judge presiding over the case had expired and as such a warrant was required from the Chief Justice. They expected to make a ruling today and there will be more later. Just to hear on news desk on Joy News and Multi TV. Stay with us, we'll be back with more stories. Well, let's continue. Rather, in the National Democratic Congress, uh, Tema Central Parliamentary candidate Ebi Bright launched her campaign over the weekend. The national chairman of the party, Kofi Potofi, charged supporters to have faith in the imminent victory of the party. I want to appeal to all of you to put your faith in God that the NDC will win this election. The history of the MPP is to throw bombs and throw stones and to kill. They started in the Kwame Kura's time. And they want to do it to us. God has answered our prayers. More importantly for this event today, you have decided in Tema Central to have a candidate who is as youthful as many, many of you here. This meeting is a meeting of the youth, the campaign launch of the youth in Tema who want to see development, who want to see progress. It gives us the older people. Although today we look like old men and women, the older people. But you are all youthful, beautiful, good. But it gives us the hope that our party, the National Democratic Congress, has a future, and the future is in your hands. But whereas we are talking about the youth and the opportunities that President Joe Mahama has for you, when he returns, there's no if at that week, when he returns next year, is to make the opportunities available to every Ghanaian youth so you can have jobs. That's important. The parliamentary candidate for Tsema Central called on party members not to fall for lies, but support the part in the upcoming the party in the upcoming elections. We come from a tradition that works to ensure that you and I, who necessarily weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth. We can access good education. We can access good health care. That you and I can find opportunities to make a living. And after all of this behind me, after all of this behind you, let me ask you if our generation has the right not to produce leaders of good quality, has the right not to produce servants of good quality, has the right not to produce strong men and women that will stand against all odds and say, no, this land is ours. It deserves to grow. You and I, we deserve development. You and I, we deserve a bright future. You and I do not come from a family that will allow us to, to, to have retardation. You and I come from a family that makes sure that we continue to move forward. 
I am standing here proudly under this umbrella because our supreme leader, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, has proven to be a man of vision. He has proven to be a true man of heart and mind. So I will not hide in my house and complain. And I ask you to join me. Let us give Tema Central a voice. No longer will we be forgotten. I can assure you that the wonderful work, the hospitals, the schools, the roads, which are essential to this country's future, which have been provided all around, they fit, they befit Tema Central as well. And the people of Ghana will endorse our president. It will, it will endorse, or she will endorse our government once more. And we'll say, JM, Swasu. Dino Paiwa, what do you mean paracetamol? And now APC, now it's Paiwa, and then AJI. Ezu, Ezu, Ezu. Now, malaria, too. Now, for APC, and now paracetamol. Na eti payene chaya, eno chede malaria no, went to asio. Malaria no, egusu oho. What I mean is, if you take Ghana as an example, there are things we were supposed to do, but we didn't. For some people, they refuse to take the malaria drug because they claim it is bitter, or they will feel weak, so they opt for APC, which destroys them. We have just been managing all those problems over the years. And it has turned into a bigger problem. And no John Dramani Mahama. This is the reason John Mahama came to stop us from taking APC and paracetamol in managing the symptoms. He wants us to take a drug which will stop malaria forever. This is the work Mahama is doing. President Mahama Thank you, Mr. President, for your service, but we have had enough of it, and it is time for you to bow out. These were the words of Nana Dudankwa Akufwa, the presidential candidate of the New Patriotic Party, at the launch of the party's Greater Accra Region campaign at Tema East Constituency. Nana Akufwa said the governing National Democratic Congress, led by President John Mahama, has, in the last eight years, imposed unbearable hardship on Ghanaians and must therefore give way for a more competent team to manage the affairs of the state. Now, addressing thousands of enthusiastic supporters at Kojo Park in Tema on Sunday, Nana Dudankwa Kofwadu said God has given Ghanaians the power to change the course of the country through the power of the thumb. He promised to make Ghanaians prosper and be the envy of the world. Also, Samira Baumia, wife of the party's running mate, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, threw punches at the party's opponent. She took a swipe at the NDC, insisting the governing party is in the epitome of incompetence and corruption. Speaker of Parliament, by the NPP charged residents of Tema not to be swayed by what they referred to as the lies and promises said on various campaign platforms by the NDC. Now, the New Patriotic Party is seeking to win Tema East constituency seat with not less than 58% of the total vote cast. You're still here on Joy News on Morty TV.